here this morning for the, for the opening of our first COVID-19 um, centre here. We hope to have one of these in each GP federation, but what I'm really proud of here today is the co-production, where we've seen our GPs, the Trust, the HS, HSC board and the Department of PHA all coming together to bring forward this centre in such a short space of time. It's actions like this will actually enable us to get the treatment right, to get the diagnosis right, and actions like this and places like this will actually help save lives. This is just to say thanks and well done to all of our staff in the Western Trust who have made it possible to uh, open the GP COVID centre here at Antony Galvin Hospital this morning. It was a huge effort, ourselves with the GPs working in partnership with people in our own trust, our IPC, our porters, our cleaning staff, our nurses and our secondary care doctors. Well done everyone. So in essence we've set up the COVID centre as an assessment centre and this is to basically assess patients who have been triaged by phone by their own family doctor uh, and using certain criteria where patients are query COVID positive uh, and are query having symptoms that they can't self-manage but not severe enough that they would need an ambulance. We basically need to create a space, a safe space for the patient and for uh, medical professionals to assess that patient. Uh, so ultimately the COVID centre is, is a facility to do that. Uh, the patient can come up to the centre, uh, they will be asked to wear a mask, they will be brought through to a clinical room and they will be seen by medical professionals uh, and assessed with the appropriate uh, protective equipment so that it protects patient and the doctor, uh, ultimate and the health professional, the healthcare assistant or nurse as well. Uh, the process essentially then is a decision is made that the patient is well enough that can go home and self-manage. Uh, patient may need some treatment that we will be in a position to give to the patient or the patient may be uh, needing further investigation or admission to the hospital and we will have a pathway then where the patient will be moved into the hospital. Uh, so those have all been set up uh, with some amazing cooperation uh, from Western Trust, from the GP community, GP federations. Uh, all the staff within the trust in terms of nursing support, uh, auxiliary support and as I say the senior management within the trust. But ultimately we needed within a very short period of time sign up that this is the best way to progress to try and provide the best care for our COVID patients uh, and that's what we're doing.